What's for dinner, everybody? And here to show us four bruschetta recipes that cover all dinner courses is our friend Chef Daniel Green. Everybody give it up for Daniel. Thank you for being here, my friend. Thank you. Now, before you show us uh, the main course, bruschetta, show us the other courses with bruschetta. I never, and I love bruschetta, I never thought about this. There's actually so many things you can do with it. It goes back to Etruscan times, and even today you can see from chicken livers to beans, which kind of gives people an idea that you can do anything with it. Yeah. So I started off with more of a tapas style with some shrimp on some sun-dried tomatoes, and then a real classic here. I mean, this is one uh, right next to it that is where I just chopped up tomatoes and onions and garlic, a little pep. See? <laughs> It's a okay. very reactive studio audience no, no. today. There's a story behind that. Okay. okay. The lady in the audience saw me take that out of a Tupperware bag, a packet that was already pre-made. <laughs> Busted. Magic of television. <laughs> yeah. So that was pre-prepared. And then we've got some chicken. We kind of made more of a main course, which if you don't mind, you'll help me make one. I'm Absolutely. Sorry, yes, yes, yes. That. And then we thought of doing a dessert one with some mascarpone cheese, some Nutella, and some mint and some berries. So you could go the whole four course here. All of this, I never would have imagined, like, I would imagine maybe the shoe, I never would imagine making a dessert from bruschetta. Nor, I mean, would I, nor would I, but then when your producer said we need to do one because we need to Americanize it, I thought, well, I, what can I do? So I actually wouldn't have thought of that either, Jason. <laughs> oh, God, this is my favorite segment ever. Okay. And then we did some little canapes as well, which is what I would do when I have people over for dinner, so you can kind of do lots of little tasters of them. And everyone, I mean, everyone will like this. I mean, there's not, so. I mean, they're with the variety. So how, how do we make the main, the main one Okay, here? well, actually, this is what I love. This is incredible. Um, I just roasted some garlic. You put okay. it in some foil, and then you you put some olive oil on it and it comes out just absolutely beautiful if i cut down here oh. it's like it's like butter oh Ooh. it does open really easy look at that and if you squeeze it out you get this incredible paste oh, oh. look at them oh. yeah so <laughs> I'm going to scrape You're a little bit over there. mushy uh, garlic. I love it. <laughs> you know, a tradition on doing bruschetta actually is where you take a garlic clove and olive oil and just w wipe it on. Yeah. So it gives this a little bit. This is easier, bit. though. This is nicer and it gives a bit more and the pungency is taken away. So, if you don't mind getting your hands dirty. Yeah, I don't care at all. We're going to top it with some lettuce after we go with some tomatoes. And this is, and I know you hear that's such a cliche. Oh, everybody can do this. But this, anybody could do this. Just get some bread. And boom, you, you, you got it. You really can. There's things you can have in your pantry as well. Like I've got a sun-dried tomato paste there. That's beautiful with it. Uh, a great olive oil is really important. And then I thought here we're going to make a bit more of a meal. So we'll put yeah. a little bit of salad on each. Okay. And then we've got some grilled chicken. There we go. That's, I'm making a mess there, but that's all right. That's okay, perfect. there we go. Boom. Bo a little salad. A little salad. A little chicken. A little chicken. And then boom. You have a main course. And, of course to always brighten up something like yes. this and make it very Italian. Roll up the basil into a little kind of cigar style, and then you get these ribbons. And as I said, if, you're, if you're running late and you have no time, boom, the assembly takes all of 30 seconds to do. And any kind of bread. I mean, ciabatta's great, French bread. They actually say a day-old stale bread is really good. So for, a, li for a little firmer. Yep, exactly. A little firmer. This is fantastic.